before you go out, you're going to have to wear your costume. Nobody wants to go to a circus and see ordinary people flipping around. I want people like Andrew Tate, like Wes Watson. I want them talking about me. I want them knowing who Arash Stevens are. Is. That's who you're learning from. We're not that far from what I'm saying. That man and other people in that world are getting that level of respect and admiration is they literally invest all day so that when they come in contact with their audience, they're giving their highest level performance to their audience. You create a bond with another person that transcends time and space and any and color and race and size because you're so focused on the same. That happens here. Okay? There's that. A person becomes part of a tribe, a family, a group. They get each other's backs. Then when they party together, it's a lot more fun. Even if a person has a birthday, the celebration is different because they're close with each other. Everything that happens to one of them, they all celebrate together because they're, they're counting on each other to perform and be on stage. They have to work together to take down the tent sometimes and do this and do that. They're all putting in work. Now, ready? Do you see that world? Let's transfer now to the world outside, right? The civilians. Sloppy wake up, sloppy food, sloppy workout, if any of that. Go to work, try to get out of work. You know, when he's working, he needs every second and minute to practice. He's not trying to not do the work because later on you have to perform that work and you can't injure yourself or someone else and you're going to get paid. So every minute you're going to put your focus in it. There's a difference between doing your job at that level of intensity and focus and wanting to get the minutes in properly versus the guy that goes to work and is like, oh, I got to get out of here already. Bro, what the kind of life is that though? And then what happens? The dude does his work. Someone comes back and is like, is that him or whatever? When he does his work, admiration from thousands of people and lights and cameras and claps. Do you know why thousands of people clap? Lights, cameras, actions. I tell you why. Follow him for seven days and watch how he lives. Follow the guy, the other guy who complains about his work for seven days. You tell me which one you would admire and clap for. That's the reason why that other guy will never get a clap for anything he does. He's going, dude, dude. Paper or plastic. Good work, bro. Good work. Okay. He's going, uh, what can I drive you to? Good work. You're making money. But that's not what I'm talking about right now. I'm now talking about the art of seduction, you guys being here and learning this properly. All right? That guy, dude, and what can I drive you? Also doesn't get a 10 texting him or calling him, telling him he loves, telling him that she loves him. He doesn't have nine or 10 hot-ass girlfriends. It's reserved for the guy who puts in his time, his energy, watches what he eats, how he works out. When he gets it. So the reason why that man and other people in that world are getting that level of respect and admiration is they literally invest all day. Ready? Watch this. So that when they come in contact with their audience, they're giving their highest level performance to their audience. That's how it works. And you and I, when we go out, when we face a woman, that's our audience. We have to give our highest level performance. The clapping will happen after the performance is done properly. When he goes on stage, he has to change his look. When we go tonight, we have to change our look. We have to put on the costume. We're about to go perform. Audience is everywhere. When you go out and you're looking for her to admire you and clap for you, you haven't performed yet. You're a clown. The master performer, when he walks out, he doesn't even know the audience is there. Big difference between the clown that's trying to get appreciation from the audience and the performer that comes up and you think you're looking at the superhero in his own world. He's from another cosmic galaxy or something. Who is that? He's in costume. He's And he does his And you're privileged to watch him do his work. That's how seduction is. You're privileged to watch a man who knows how to do this. Come around and watch how people get mesmerized when I talk to women. Or even sit at a table. Or how. It's an art form. It's an art form. I'm a performer from day one. I've been a performer. You guys got to be a performer for this thing. But the highest level performers, when they perform, they look like they're not performing. That's the highest level performance. You don't want to watch an actor who looks like he's acting. You want to just get lost in his acting. He's feeling what he's feeling. He's doing what he's doing. And that's how it becomes. You go out there and when you're aware of yourself and how you look and all that, again, these, these are the things that prevent you 
from getting the results that we're trying to get. And just like Sean has to do those flips a thousand times over and fail a thousand times and get up a thousand and ten times after that until he lands it. And just like him and anybody else in the circus, you will get nervous before a performance. Sometimes you have doubts. You're going to go out. There's things you've done a million times that you're going to be able to do. You're going to have to improvise. It is a performance art of the highest order because we have an audience that has not paid for the ticket to watch the show. We hijack the audience. We go in field and everybody becomes a spectator without knowing they're about to be a spectator. A street performer. That's what we do. Suddenly we're walking the street. Sean and two or three of his friends come up and they start doing flips, playing some music, put the hat out and crowd gathers. They get paid for it. That's what we're doing. We're going out. It looks like we're in the same area as everybody else. And people start watching us. And now we're performing and people start paying attention. We're the observe. But what is it that we're doing? We're doing the art of seduction, the art of pickup, the art of social dynamics. We're moving the environment. We're getting the hot women to react to us. We're getting the high value men to react to us. We're merging sets and moving things around. We're making things happen and making that environment from a boring ass place to a goddamn circus let me show you the act i gotta see what that life is and that life is addicting it's worth it and so when you come to an ordinary life you can't live no ordinary life after you live like that bro and i don't know how many of you want to be an ordinary average guy but an ordinary average guy doesn't get the 10 bro and maybe you can't do contortion or maybe you can't flip but i'm gonna teach you how to juggle there's a million things you could do i i will teach you something there is an act for you. Trust me. That's what makes me good at this thing. But you got to come out and you have to start moving and trying. And then something is going to catch your attention. And you're going to be like, I want to throw the knives. You need to look like you're not like me. I came to the circus to see freaks. That's what the circus originally was. I came to see another tribe of people. So we can't look like everyone else. How are you going to look like everyone else and expect to get the girl? How have you worked this out? Have you looked at yourself? You're going to get the girl, bro, but you're going to get the average girl in that average life that I never want to have nothing to do with. Thank you very much. Not for me. So, I want people like Andrew Tate, like Wes Watson. I want them talking about me. I want them knowing who Arash Divazar is. That's who you're learning from. We're not that far from what I'm saying. That's around the corner for me. But that level of performance is an obsession. It's a 24-hour obsession. When you're not doing the circus and flipping, you're thinking about it. You're dreaming about it. It's shown up in your mind. You're worried about it sometimes. You're not sure if you're going to make a hey, welcome to my world with women. You have to be obsessed. Now, if what I'm saying is so extreme, exactly. You can also go to the circus and do a little show on the side with the performance, and they'll teach you how to do a roll, a somersault. You put your hands down, tuck your head. That's right. Good. Lift your butt up. Lift, oh, there you go. Good job. You didn't hurt yourself. Good. I can teach you how to get a girl to say hi to you. You can get her number and feel great about it. And you walk off. But please, don't forget, you're in Cirque du Soleil. You're with the greatest, the best that ever was, per performing and training the next level. That's the difference. So look at the commitment. Some people show up every Friday for a free class. I'm only talking to people that are obsessed like me. I don't try to get the guy who doesn't like it to like it. I'm talking to the guy who loves it and is committed and reminding him and telling him, you're right. You can't be like the average people. There's thousands of them and one of you. There's millions of them. There's a billion of them and one of you.